How do you check the flame sensor? How do you know the flame sensor is bad? What can you do to figure out if the flame sensor is bad? Today you're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'm going to teach you how to use your meter to measure microamps and to actually check and see if we've got a signal from our flame sensor to our board. We got a Goodman gas package and it's been through quite a few years here. You can see pretty dirty, pretty rusty. We're going to plug this up and I'm going to show you the symptoms of what a bad flame sensor looks like. We've got a call for heating. We touch R to W using a little jumper. Here's the flame sensor and it's not plugged up but we're going to plug it up right now. See it's plugged up. All right, it lights, and then shortly after it lights, it goes out. Now, what do you need to do to measure the signal? You need to take your meter, see where it says UADC? That's microamps. We're going to take the wire off the flame sensor, and one thing I like to do is I like to measure from the flame sensor back to the board. That way you take the wire out of the equation. Uh, you can measure from the wire, but it's better to measure from the flame sensor, all right? So, if you can see, it, said, it says FS on the control board. See that FS? That's where the flame sensor wire would terminate. And we're gonna go from that wire, or that spade on the board, all right, to the flame sensor. All right, you see that? Oh, we gotta re-give we gotta re -give it a call. So let's re-give it a call real quick. We should be measuring in, in between uh, 1.5 to 2.5, something like that. All right, we got it in place, take a look. Where my meter lead is. All right, now let's see what we got. Zero, nothing, and it went out. All right, now we don't have any signal from our flame sensor back to the board. One thing you wanna check is you wanna make sure your flame rod is not dirty. You can use some type of cloth to clean it off, make sure it's not dirty, but if you've done that, then you need to make sure that it's actually in line with the flame because if the flame rod is not actually touching the flame, then it's not gonna convert that signal and it's not, you're not gonna measure any microamps, right? So we've got our White Rogers premium flame sensor. This right here can be bent, it can be cut. So if you've got a flame sensor that's in the shape of an L, you can make this one in the shape of an L because this is quite long. So let's unwind this. I've got a couple videos on this, but I thought today I'll do another one since it's heating season. So this, this comes with a wire and it comes with a flame rod. And you can cut this flame rod or you can bend it. I'm pretty sure ours is straight. Let's take it out and take a look. All right, here's our flame rod. So. As long as we're not touching anything, we I don't think we'll have to cut this or bend this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a self-tap screw. I'm gonna screw this in because this mounting plate, you can't take this sensor out. So we're just gonna have to use this one, all right? So let's go ahead and screw this in. I'm glad it came with the wire. That's very nice. Let's go ahead and put this in place. All right, it's in place. Now I'm going to screw it in. All right, now run this wire. Come over here so you can see. I'm gonna run this wire right through here. If you can hear that dog inside, he is not happy I'm here. Not happy. All right, there's the wire. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, all right, oh. Hard to see. Okay. 
Ooh. There we go. It's on there. It's snug. It's not coming off. Now, it's in place. We're going to go ahead and fire it up, make sure it stays running, and then I'm going to show you how to measure and, and, and show you what a good flame sensor signal looks like. All right. There's our old flame sensor wire. I don't need that anymore. Oh, well. It's windy outside. All right. Reset the power of the board. Should come on. There you go. Now we'll make sure it's going to run. And then we're going to take and measure micro amps. It's lit. You can see the flame sensor. The flame is covering that sensor and it would have went out by now but it's not going out so let's go ahead and hook our meter up all right so i'm going to take this off of the flame sensor and if you've got a little alligator clamp that's really nice comes in handy i'm going to put one meter lead here and one meter lead on the male spade that comes out of that sensor see that so this is exactly how we're gonna measure it all right let's see what we got 2.5 2 point yeah 2.5 it's jumping around but hey it's staying lit right and this is a good flame sensor it's working that's how you test for flame rectification and that's how the flame stays lit because you've got something that senses flame. Flame sensor, flame rod. Same thing as a thermocouple. Thermopile. That's what a standing pilot gas furnace uses. That's what a gas fireplace uses. Um, some of them. That's what an on-the-wall heater would use to stay lit. So let me know what's your, your experience. Let me know if you use this type of flame rod from White, White Rogers. I'll post the link in the description for this flame rod that I use that's universal, uh, that can be bent or cut in the field. All right, got the unit fixed. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen my video on gas heat training, I've got that down in the link in the description, so go check that out. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.